One of the very important things that scientists and engineers need to be able to do is to extract useful and actionable information from data. And one of the ways to do this is to form regressions or forms of equations where we fit different coefficients. So for example, in this case, we have some heart rate data for a patient and we want to be able to fit a correlation to it. Maybe we want to then use that uh, use those parameters that we've uh, adjusted to fit the correlation to the data to then make predictions or do something else with that um, that digital twin of the process. So we have um, this nonlinear regression problem that we're going to be running through right here. If you want to follow along, just come to the course website. And um, this is going to be under schedule. And this one is problem number one of homework number four and there's a little bit more information here under curve fitting um, there's the excel uh, for curve fitting or if you want to follow along with matlab or python then you just select uh, these for polynomial or nonlinear uh, regression okay um, and there's the source code there as well if you'd like to also follow along with that um, you can get it from github or you can uh, select the Google Colab link that's right here, the CL4, and that'll open up uh, the Python notebook in a web browser. You don't need to install anything. Okay, let's go through this problem number one. We have heart rate data as a function of time for a 20 minute period of constant exertion. Okay, here's the URL right here. You can either just select that link and it'll download it, or you could just use pandas to import it. So I'm going to import pandas as pd, and then I'll do pd.readcsv, and I'll just put in my URL. Okay, so there it is, uh, my data file, and you can see uh, the 241 rows with a summary there of uh, some of the output. Okay, um, I can also do PD, uh, oh, I need to assign that to a variable. Let's just name this as X. Okay, otherwise it's just gonna print out uh, the data. I need to install, uh, assign that to a data frame, which I'm going to name X. Okay, now I'm going to um, print the first five rows as well. I'll just do X dot head. And I could also do the, you know, the last uh, three rows as well with x dot tail. If you just leave that off, it gives you five. Okay, so, um, all right. So there's the head and the tail. It's just only going to print out the very last thing that you have there. Or you could do uh, in case that in print. It's not going to give you quite the nice, uh, you know, formatted output as just leaving off the print statement. Okay, so there's the first five. And if we wanted to see some summary statistics, I'm going to go ahead and just insert a cell below and do x dot uh, describe. Okay, there's the summary statistics for time and then for heart rate. And it gives us a little bit of a distribution on, on the heart rate um, and also the time values. Let's go ahead and just uh, go to the next one. We'll create a function that returns the predicted beats per minute given the time t and four constants. Okay, so in this case, um, we're just going to have um, this uh, correlation right here. And so we're gonna put that in um, as define our new beats per minute. And that's gonna be a function of time and then C0, C1, C2, and C3. And then in that, we're going to then return uh, C0 plus C1 times T minus C2 times NP. I don't have an, uh, NumPy imported yet, uh, so let me just go ahead and do that. Normally I do that all at the beginning, um, but I'll just do that here instead. Okay, I have this new function defined, um, and I have some unknown coefficients, C0 through C3, that we're going to adjust to try to fit those heart rate values. Now we need to obtain these good uh, guess values. We want to plot the data in the function before trying the solver, and we'll go ahead and do some uh, guess values here. Um, 
our guess is going to be equal to I'll just say 100, 0 0.01, 100, and 0 0.01. Okay, so those are going to be our guess values for the four. All right, and then uh, what we want to do is um, you know plot the data and the function. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just import uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then also matplotlib inline so it just shows uh, inside my uh, inside the ipython notebook all right and then uh, let's go ahead and just plt dot plot and i had x and if i go back up to um, this first one, I have time in seconds and then heart rate in beats per minute. So I just need this first header right here. I'll just copy that uh, down there. Um, let's just do x as a function of time in seconds. And then I'll plot x as heart rate uh, beats per minute. So now I have heart rates beats per minute right here. And uh, I'm going to paste this right uh, down here and then let's go ahead and just show it. Okay, so here's our heart rate data, X values, that's the time, and then this is our beats per minute. Okay, and let's just see how close we are with the, just our initial guesses. Um, I'm going to have to compute um, for each of those times for I in, um, hmm, let's see, uh, length and range, uh, length of however many times I have. Okay, that's going to be my length. I'm going to cycle through for each one. I want to create a prediction uh, for each of those values for my uh, beats per minute. And so beats per minute, uh, beats predicted, I'll just call that Y. And then we'll just do np.empty and um, you know, this length, I think I'm going to be using this a lot right here. I think that was 240 or so. I'll just assign that to be N. And then I'll have Y is going to be an empty array, size N. And then I can also just replace this with N. Okay, so now I have uh, Y, I. I'm going to compute that for each of these. And I'll just do BPM. And then I will have... I'll shorten this just a little bit. My guess, I'll just say that's G. And I'll have that be a function of uh, X. And that'll be time in seconds. And I'll just give it the I value there. So I'll just cycle through each of those I values. And then I'll do guess zero, guess one, guess two, and guess three. Okay, so there are my y values and let me go ahead and just plot those on this as well y and I'll just do those as red uh, circles okay so you can see I'm off on my predictions and I'll do dots instead a little bit uh, less large there okay and I could adjust this um, you know, let's say I said that needs to be a little bit higher, or this one needs to be just a little bit lower. I can adjust that. I can see how it affects the curve fit. Okay, so I generated some predictions this way. They were off, but I've plotted the two, and you can see how they compare. It's fairly close right now, so maybe I'll go with these uh, guess values initially. Okay, let's go on down to the next one. Now we have our the next part is where we want to fit this using curve fit. So we can either guess and check ourselves or we could use curve fit to do it for us. So um, let's go ahead and just do, uh, to use curve fit, I'm going to need, to, uh, I'll get my parameters back out, my C values, and I'll also have a covariance, a parameter covariance that'll come out. We're not going to use that, but we do need to have that as one of the outputs. And then we're going to have curve fit. Um, and in this, we need to uh, import uh, curve fit from SciPy. So I'm going to do from scipy.optimize import uh, curve fit. Okay, so this is a function we're going to use to do regression. 
and now we can use curve fit to say what is my function I'm trying to fit what are my dependent variables okay so this is going to be time and uh, let me just extract those time values okay I'll make this just a little bit easier to see t is going to be equal to uh, that I'll do dot values just so it extracts a, an array for me okay and then um, let's see we have our heart rate that's measured as well and I'll just grab that right up here it's in beats per minute okay, I'm just grabbing the values um, you know, it's just getting out of the data um, data frame form into just an array and I'll put in heart rate and then I'll also put in my guess values G okay so let's just re see what that returned in terms of parameter values these are the four that it came up with um, these are the four parameters that it fit using this curve fit function so again just to review there's our function name this is what I'm using to predict the beats per minute these are my measured values that I'm going to be comparing it to I'm going to try to fit it to and these are my guess values and then it's going to return two things the covariance and the parameter values okay these are the ones I'm going to need okay and so let's um, let's also just compare what we uh, had here to this new fitted uh, these new fitted values and so I'm going to just take um, let me just take this again I'll copy that and we'll paste it right below it and my n's already defined my y vector is already available to use and I'm just going to plug in instead of g I'll plug in c values here those are the parameters that it came up with and let's just plot it one more time so we can see now it lies on top of the measured values with the predicted values and now I've done my regression I've minimized a sum of squared errors between the predicted values and the uh, measured values by adjusting those four coefficients so uh, let's go on down and do the r squared value of the fit that's a measure of how well it fits the values are closer to one indicate a better fit than those closer to zero and there you could see some code that we could use um, and I just need to put in my predicted values and my measured values so heart rate is going to be my measured and then my predicted um, was going to be Y okay and you can see my R squared value now okay just use the R2 score function and it doesn't matter which way you put these in you can either put the HR and then the Y should give you the same um, well, that was just a slightly different answer should give you the same answer though okay um, let's go down uh, I think that was about hmm, that was about it for this one uh, we did the fit and did the R squared value and um, so uh, anyway that's the tutorial on doing a simple regression with just co four coefficients uh, we took some real data from constant exertion of somebody starting from rest and we fit those four coefficients with the curve fit function in SciPy. Up next we're going to do uh, problem number two. I'll do that in a separate video but very similar. Uh, a little bit more complicated though because our function is going to include a conditional statement and some switching that happens inside uh, inside the function and then problem number three uh, will be the final one and that's um, how to generate random numbers and then plot those